Hello video editors, in this short tutorial I will show you how to create smooth rolling end credits inside Adobe Premiere Pro. And I will also show you how to save this as a motion graphic template so you can reuse this in future projects. Before I move over to Premiere I want to thank Motion Array for sponsoring this video. Motion Array is a one-stop shop for all your video post-production needs. At this moment they offer over 80,000 premium quality templates, stock videos and music files to help you make better videos. And Motion Array is membership based. This means that you sign up for a month or a year and boom, you get everything. Download whatever you want and use it wherever you want. Use the link in the video description to learn more and start making better videos with Motion Array. Ok, I hope you're ready, it's time to move over to Premiere and start some editing. Inside Premiere I'm going to start by creating a new sequence. In the project panel click on this new items icon here on the bottom and then select sequence. For the smoothest rolling effect I would highly recommend using the same settings for this sequence as the sequence from the movie where you will add this. For this example I'll use a 1080p 25fps sequence and I'll rename this one to end credits and then click OK. Let's now first add some text so I can show you how the roll effect can be applied. We can add text by using the type tool which you can enable here or hit the T key to enable it. Then I can just click somewhere in the program monitor and start typing. In this case I'll type best movie ever. You can hit the escape key on your keyboard to exit type mode and then hit the V key to go back to the selection tool. I will use the same key shortcuts throughout the rest of this video. So if you want to edit along with this tutorial then make sure to remember these key shortcuts. As you can see here in the essential graphics panel I'm using the Roboto font. For the title that we just added I'm going to change this into Roboto Black. And now we can align this text inside the program monitor. I will make the text snap onto the red line in the middle of the frame. If you don't see this red line then you might need to enable this first. You can click on this wrench icon here and then select snap in program monitor. In the next step I'm going to copy the text by hitting ctrl or command c and then paste this with ctrl or command v. And as you can see here in the essential graphics panel we've now got two copies of the same text layer. I'll select the one on top, move it down and then resize the text. Then I'll change the text into something else like directed by. Then I'll exit type mode, go back to the selection tool. And for this bit of text I'm going to change the font style into a light. And then align the text by snapping this to the center of the frame. And now I'm going to copy this text and paste it. I've already prepared a short list of names coming from a random name generator. So if your name is on this list then it's a coincidence, it's nothing intentional. Anyway I'll just copy a random name and then paste this onto our text. And then I'll make the text a little bigger and change the font style into bold. And then again center the text by snapping it to the red line. Ok so now we've added three layers of text as you can see here in the essential graphics panel. And these layers are all inside a single essential graphics item which you can find here on the timeline. And that's important to understand because the roll effect will be added to this essential graphic item which basically is a collection of all the layers inside. Let me show you what I mean. If I deselect the text layers by clicking in the blank space below we are in fact selecting the entire essential graphics item. And now we've got the option to enable roll. And enabling this option gives us a scroll bar here at the side of the program monitor. And then as you can see here the option to start and end off screen is enabled by default. And if you want you can also add some time for pre-roll or post-roll or ease in and ease out. For now it's important to understand that enabling the roll feature here will add an automated roll to all the layers that are included. Let's do a quick playback on the timeline to show you that all the three layers are included in the roll. The speed of the roll is based on the content and the length of the graphic item on the timeline. Which means that if I make this longer the roll will go slower and if I make it shorter it will go faster. Ok so now you've seen the basics. In the next steps I'm going to add some more text with different formatting. I'm going to add images and I'm going to make the roll a bit smoother. Ok so next I'm going to start by adding some more text with different formatting. And to do this you need to move to the point where you want to add the text or else the screen will jump up and down while editing the text. Let's add some names of some more fictional actors or characters here. I'll enable the type tool by clicking here and then click somewhere in the program monitor. And then I'll move over to my list of generated names and copy a couple of them. I will paste the names inside the text box and then exit type mode and resize the text. And as you can see the rest of the text will reposition automatically based on the role that we enabled. 
Ok, next I'm going to right align the text by clicking this icon here in the Essential Graphics panel. And then move the right side of this text box to the center of the frame, like this. Ok, perfect. Now we can copy this text box and then move this to the right for now. And again, I'll move over to my fictional names list and copy some names. Then paste the names inside the new text box and then align the text to the left. And then I'm going to move the left side of the text to the center of the frame, like this. As you can see here, there's no space between the two text boxes, so let's adjust the anchor point slightly. I'll give this one a horizontal value of minus 25. And the other one will be the opposite, which is 25 pixels. Ok, that's already starting to look a lot better. Let's also change the style for the left text box. We'll change this one into Roboto Light. This part also needs a title, so I'm going to copy Directed By and then place this above the names. Then change this into Actors and then align the text to the center. Ok, that's done. As you've seen, you can add an endless amount of text layers to a single essential graphic item and then apply the roll effect to all the layers inside. And this is not limited to text only, you can also add images. You can do this by clicking here on this new items icon and then select from file. Then browse to the image that you want to import, select it and click open. And after that you can simply reposition the image and the rest will follow along. In the final steps of this tutorial we're going to make the roll animation a bit smoother. Maybe you've already noticed that during the scrolling there's a bit of a flickering effect going on. But luckily there are a couple of things that you can do to make this look better. The first solution might be to lower the contrast, and you can do this by changing the plain white text into something more grey. A second solution to reduce the flickering might be to lower the speed of the roll animation. As I mentioned before, you can do this by extending the graphic layer on the timeline. And the final and best solution that I found so far is by adding an effect. And this effect is called Reduce Interlace Flicker and can be found in the Blur and Sharpen folder. I'll apply this one to the essential graphic and then inside the effect controls panel we can set a value for softness. Depending on the speed of the roll I would normally set this one somewhere between 1 and 4. And in this case I'm going to set it to 3. Ok, let's now do a quick playback side by side so you can see the difference. And now, as promised, I will also show you how to save this one as a motion graphic template and reuse this in other projects. This one is really simple, you need to right click on the essential graphic on the timeline and then select export as motion graphic template. Then if you want you can change the name of the template and set a destination. In this case I'll select to import it into the templates folder of Premiere and now click OK. And then if we go to the browse tab inside the essential graphics panel we can find our template here. And then you could simply drag this over to the timeline and start editing. And that's it for this tutorial, I hope you enjoyed this one, and if you did then don't forget to like the video. But in case you feel that it's too much work to create your own end credits, you might want to give this template on Motion Array a try. This is a really nice template including multiple styles and transitions. I will add a separate link in the video description so you can check it out. And finally, as always, I want to say thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.